Hallo Kinder, wie geht's euch? Hoffentlich gut. Heute machen wir mit dem Lektion 4 weiter. Wir machen mit dem Kursbuch weiter. So, wir äh, haben schon einige kleine Dialoge in, der, in dem letzten Video gesehen. Jetzt gehen wir weiter. Kursbuch Seite Nummer 69. First we will read the left hand side box. 1, 2, 3, 4 are the floors in Kaufhaus. You, see, you know that in the shopping mall there is a uh, floor wise there are sections. So floor 1 uh, that is Dame and Abteilung that is women's section. Whatever are women's thing accessories you can get there. Uh, zwei Herren Abteilung Men Section 3 Kinder 0 bis 14 Whatever things are related to children are available on third floor 4 Junge Menschen Fourth floor is meant for young people und 5 Sport Abteilung Sport Accessories Sport Items Whenever you want to use any preposition for floor it is given on right hand side in der ersten Etage oder im ersten Stock. Etage und Stock, beide sind synonym. Both are synonym. But you just need to keep in mind that Etage should be used with in there because it is feminine. And Stock should be used with im because it is masculine. Now, whatever it is the floor, in der zweiten Etage, in der dritten Etage oder im zweiten Stock, in the written store. You just need to these prepositions in mind. Now we will read Dialogue 5. Frau Meyer, ich möchte eine Hose kaufen. I would like to buy a trouser. The Damen, okay, Kauffrau is the sales girl there, salesperson. She says the Damen Abteilung is in their ersten Etage. The woman section is on the first floor. Danke. So, similar type, you can also form a small dialogue that ich möchte uh, tennis bale kaufen, like tennis balls kaufen, then it is on the in their film ten etage. Like this, you can also prepare the dialogues. But the most important thing, you need to remember the prepositions main for etage or stock. Yes, dialogue sex. Frau Meyer, haben Sie eine blaue Hose in Größe 40? Do you have a blue trouser in size 40? Verkäufer, salesperson or salesman says, In these größe haben wir leider nur die Farben braun und schwarz. In this size, größe size, we have unfortunately only the colors brown and black. Frau Meyer says, oh okay. The brown gefällt mir. I like the brown one. Probieren Sie sie bitte an. Anprobieren is a separable verb which means try on. Please try this. Da drüben sind die Umkleidekabine. Da drüben means that side. There are uh, changing rooms. Umkleidekabine means changing rooms. Jetzt Dialog 7. Stephanie says, Maria, deine Bruse is so schick und die Farbe steht dir auch gut. Your top is so fashionable and the color suits you also. Maria says, Danke. Die habe ich von C und A. Uh, this is a brand name and a shop name. So, which I have taken from that shop. Road gefällt mir sehr. I like red very much. So, our, I hope both the dialogues are clear to you. Jetzt Seite Nummer 69 und 70. Wir lesen Dialog 8 und 9. Der Dialog 8 ist zwischen Markus und Anna. Markus says, Hallo Anna, du siehst ja sehr schön aus. You are looking very beautiful, you are very pretty. Danke Markus, thank you Markus. Gibt es etwas Besonderes? Besonderes means something special. Is there something special? Ja, meine Schwester hat heute Geburtstag. Yes, my sister has today birthday. Ach so, oh. Dieses Kleid trage ich heute zum ersten Mal. I wear this dress for the first time. 
टूडे फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम तो मेरे स्टैंड मैन इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ए स्टे डियर गुड इट सूट टू यू इन केस ऑफ स्टे हैं whomever it is suiting should be in dative and what is suiting that should be in nominative then ring passed out good means your ring is also matching with it very well danke für das compliment markus thank you for the compliment markus now here uh, they have given demonstrative pronouns in that box these are these are these is and these are both means this uh, for masculine these are is used for feminine these is used for neutral it is these is and for plural it is these i hope it is clear to you now let's listen we are dialogue noin gukmal gukmal means look at this the spar there par is couple the pair there couple there their man erthrek wrote a shoe the man there he is wearing red shoes oike the wrote in shoe stehen im gar nicht the red shoes are not matching him suiting him at all now you can see here that uh, instead of state stehen is used because shuha is always considered as plural and you need to always conjugate the verb according to nominative so unti frau she had zogar und shuha an an haben is a separable verb that means to wear so and the lady she is we- even wearing zogar means even she is even wearing colorful shoes aber the bunten shoes is in hoops but the colorful shoes are pretty she stehen near good they are suiting or they are matching with her, uh, to her very well course book seite number 60 let's listen wear dialog 10 und 11 dialog 10 is zwischen leonie und maria Weiß du Maria Lara hat ein neues Tattoo? Do you know Maria Lara has a new tattoo? Was noch eins? What one more? Still one more? She had show, dog shown dry. Uh, she is already having three tattoos. Yeah. Aber das steht ihr so gut, but it is suiting to her very well. Ich finde es echt cool. I find it very cool. Echt is very really cool. Na ja, tattoos mag ich gar nicht. I don't like tattoos at all. Now what is given in this box? Let's say typisch Deutsch. What is typical Deutsch German? Taboos in German offices. Taboos means whatever is not allowed. Something is prohibited. Something is not allowed. So half pants, flip flops, mini skirts, open waistline or belly band are not allowed in German offices. This is just given as an extra information. Now we will read dialog elf. Dialog elf is zwischen Ursula and Lena. Ich gehe heute in die Stadtmitte. Today I am going in the city center. Stadtmitte is city, mid of the city, city center. Da gibt es ein neues Kaufhaus. There is uh, one new shopping mall. Was möchtest du kaufen and what would you like to buy there? Es gibt Rabatten bei S. Oliver und H. und M. There are discounts at S. Oliver and H. and M. These are the brands. Ich möchte ein Kleid und zwei T-Shirt. I would like to buy a dress and two T-Shirts. Und auch einen Gürtel and also one belt. Ich gehe vielleicht am Wochenende. Perhaps I will go on weekend. Jetzt Seite Nummer 70, Dialog 12. Dialog 12 ist zwischen Mutter und Lara. Mutter sagt, Kinder, draußen ist es kalt heute. Draußen ist outside, it is cold today. Nehmt bitte eure Mützen mit. This is imperative. Take your caps. Mitnehmen is to take along with you. Und vergesst den Pullover nicht. And don't forget the Pullover. Ja, Mama, Oliver, komm, wir gehen. Yes, Mama, Oliver, komm, wir will go. Und ja, tragt bitte Winterschuhe. Do wear the winter shoes. Kommt heute etwas früher nach Hause zurück. Today, come little bit earlier to home. Ja, Mutter. So, they have also given few pictures of winter clothes, winter clothing. Like mutes, uh, shawl, pullover, 
shoe her hand shoe her hand shoe is hand gloves so this is dialogue 12 yet scores book site number 1976 of cup of fear are dry yet learn and wear yar site in monat un wetter we is the sweater how is the weather in germany there are total four seasons in deutschland gibt es vier jahreszeiten der frühling der sommer der herbst und der winter frühling means spring it covers march april may month der sommer summer juni juli august der herbst means autumn september october november and their winter is december january and february so usually throughout the year there is rain plus minus kam jada but rainy season is not the specific season in germany there are only four seasons that spring autumn summer and winter now how is the weather which are the adjectives main for the are for the weather to describe the weather that we will read the sweater is shown shown is nice good angenehm pleasant slash bad traumhaft is like a dream dreadful like a dream es ist regnerisch regnerisch is rainy heiß is hot cold cool and cold both means cold but cool is little bit bearable and cold is very cold schul means humid faust is moist zone is sunny windish is windy befolk means cloudy and neblish means foggy because nebel means fog so as gift nebel nebel means fog schnee is snow regen shower is rain shower stark and wind is strong wind as regnet it rains as night is it is snowfall is going on this zone shine the sun shine man sweats man sweats the temperature in it is the wrong spelling it is printing mistake the temperature in liegen by 20 degree celsius okay now temperature is temperature yox temperature is maximum temperature minimal temperature is minimal temperature just as an extra information i hope all the adjectives describing weather are clear to you yet seite number 71 und 72 typisch deutsch what is typical german in germany it rains round the year weather is a popular topic for small talk before leaving the house one usually checks the weather forecast for the day they always plan their things according to the weather forecast because in europe the weather is changing continuously so now there is a small exercise v is the sweater of den folgen den bilden welche jahreszeit ist das how is the weather in the following picture and which season is it you are supposed to just write one word to describe the weather and the season so we will solve this exercise in our online class 